impress something like when you don't put the correct answer, tell me. The coding training that students at Rubaga Girls underwent did not only leave them with a new skill. For Sharon Twikidize, her critical thinking was enhanced. And today we made up a calculator, but it required us to think a lot, to think more than we, like above where I am. So Shivan Jo and Shivumbi believes with these skills, she'll be able to develop applications and set an example. To do the same, and actually develop apps and. Should a girl child, they are more powerful, powerful I think they are. According to Ireland's ambassador to Uganda, coding skills are important for young people entering the job market in today's world. Coding. Women have an equal role and more important role to play in all of this work. And as you develop your future, the whole area of IT is key for your future. And this is a skill that will be, will be transferable. You can work in Uganda or you can work in Kenya, you can work in Rwanda, you can work in Europe. However, Prosi Wanyama from Mindset Quarters Uganda says the challenge remains in the failure to understand the need for coding training by the school authorities, hence limited number of computers. And the head teachers, they don't understand the need of this technology in their school. Kids are so interested, but you find like uh, even the interested head teachers, now there is a school where we're going to teach, but they don't have computers. So we have decided maybe we correct whatever we have, our computers, we take, then we teach on them. Code is the language of the modern world. Any smart device needs code instructions to tell it how to operate and communicate with the outside world. With the ever-increasing role connected devices are playing in our lives today, the opportunities for those who program them are endless. Rita Kanya, NTV Weekend Edition. <laughs>